This is my Misha or Mesa as it is often called and a Misha is the sign of a person who practices the spiritual tradition of the Andes. Usually you call these people Pacos. In the end a Misha is a pack filled with objects which we call Kuya because we fill them with a lot of passion and we fill them passionately with energy which means these are objects we either receive from people or we find in nature because they are objects that, con that connect us to things in our life, to moments of our life that are very, very important to us. So once you take or receive such an object, you take an invisible cord of energy that flows from the place or the person to the object into your Misha and through this cord a lot of light energy flows. So in here is an accumulation of a lot of light energy. You can say there is an accumulation of a lot of power, of power of life in this pack. We use the Misha for several things. First we take the Misha to cleanse a person, the energy bubble, the aura, from heavy energy or we take the Misha and fill a person with light living energy either from God or from Pachamama, from the Great Mother. We use the Misha for healing ceremonies and we fill all the different energy points in the human body with energy. If you participate in the ceremony with the uh, indigenous people like Kieros for instance, you will see that they use their Misha to transmit power from a, from a place or from a sacred object to people. So we call that Karpai, we call this the irrigation. We use the Misha to irrigate other people with light living energy. We connect ourselves and we use the Misha to introduce ourselves to the living environment, to the spirits of the mountains, to the forces of nature. So in the end, the Misha is a representation of yourself and your current life situation. Because you will open your Misha once in a while and you will realize that you have gained something new, an important connection to another person and you received something, you will put this object into your Misha. And once in a while you realize that maybe a friendship went to sleep. So you will feel that, perceive that there's not so much energy left. So then you take out the Kuya or the object. So therefore the Misha is a living representation of your life and your personal power. There is a certain way to wrap the cloth so that you can carry it without it becoming loose or objects falling out. And I will show you now how to do it. I learned it from my master, Juan Núñez del Prado, a master from Peru, and he learned it from Don Benito Corivaman, a famous master from the area of Wasau, close to Cusco. Now, this is an open Misha, and every practitioner has his own Misha. This is the cloth I use for inside and this is the cloth I use for outside. Now, in the first step I will fold the cloth inside and then I will show you how to fold the outer cloth. Now, take your package, put it a bit diagonal so that it lies in the third part of the cloth. And now we take the four corners clockwise and now we will fold them together. Take the first corner on the right, move it like I do, and just make sure that you have the long line going here and in parallel the two sides of the cloth.
Now take the next corner, bottom right, place it on the others and make sure that the line, that there is a line there and a parallel between the two cloth ends. Take the third corner of your cloth from the left, fold it and now you can see because of putting all the cloth together there is a little part where you can fit in the cloth, fold it and now take the last part of the cloth, put it on top, turn the Misha a little bit and now just take the cloth and put it into the little bag that has been opened wrap it inside and voila now you have your Misha